everyone. Matt Yeager here at the Broncos baseball practice. Last night they defeated the Conant Cougars 3-2 with a late RBI by Devin Gallagher. Let's go catch up with some of the senior leaders on the team and see what they're thinking for this season. Now I'm here with senior leaders Anthony Brignola and Rob McDonald. And Anthony, what kind of goals does this team have this year? Uh, I'd say definitely after last year getting down to uh, super sectionals, we'd like to get down there again and uh, try to keep going down state and ultimately win a state championship. So I mean, we just got to take it one step at a time, win conference and regionals and then down to state championship. All right, thanks Anthony. And Rob, in order to reach some of the goals that Anthony just talked about, what kind of things is this team going to have to improve on throughout the season? Two things we need to improve on. Hitting and fielding. I feel like we've done some of this in the past and I think if we really improve on these two things we become a good successful team. Alright thanks a lot guys. Now I'm here with another senior Derek Fadarero and Derek you were on the team that went down to the super sectional last year. Uh, how does this team compare to that team and what are you guys gonna have to do to get back to that point again this year? You know we lost a few key players but you know if we keep practicing the way we are and, and pick up our hitting I think our pitching's there and I think we're right there. So. Thanks a lot Derek and we'll look forward to seeing how the team does in the postseason. Now I'm here with senior Chris Rogers, and Chris, many of your teammates are going on to play at the collegiate level, but this is pretty much you know, your last season of competitive baseball, so what are you doing out there to really take advantage of this time you have left? Uh, just throwing gas, hitting home runs, is all, that's all that matters, saying hi to my fans in the stands, and that's pretty much it, and supporting my teammates. Thanks Chris, that sounds like a great way to, to end your career as a baseball player. Thanks for your time. Uh, no problem, Matt. <laughs> Well, it sounds like these Broncos have a lot of potential, and if they continue to improve throughout the season, we'll look for a deep run into the playoffs. I'm Alex Elich, it's Friday, April 30th, and it's time to get you in the know. The Scholastic Bowl Flick and Foot will be held Friday, May 8th at 7 p.m. There will be pizza and pop there, and raffle tickets are only $5. You should definitely check it out. Congratulations! If your name is listed here, that means you've either won a Best Buy gift card or an HD flip cam from the Applied Arts Contest. You can go to the library anytime to pick up your prize. The BHS girls soccer team destroyed Glenbrook South 2-0 last Sunday. They're now on an 11-game winning streak. Great job, girls! The Here in Barrington Coalition would also like to remind you that it's okay to ask for help. If you need resources or support, please visit hereinbarrington.org. Allison Kipp is one of five finalists for the prestigious Saul Bell Award. This award is a competition for jewelry designers all around the world. Good luck, Allison. VHS Fine Arts presents You Can't Take It With You, a story of the eccentric Sycamore family who have no regard for the modern world. There was a show last night, and there will be a show tonight and tomorrow night at 7.30. Break a leg, guys. A fab evening of the arts will be held May 21st at a beautiful art studio in Barrington Hills. There will be music featuring Ron Badal and friends. Tickets are $60. For more information, please visit BarringtonFineArts.com. Studios is proud to announce that we are the winners of six Student Academy Awards. I would like to accept these awards on behalf of all the crew of BHS TV. I would also like to thank a few people. Hold on. <clears throat> um, Jeff Doles, Jackie Rabashkin, Gabe Gildon, Tyler Mitchell, Rob White. Wait, what's that um, music? Uh, Brad Smith with Connie Connor Stephanie, and now you're in the know. <laughs> 